Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ask a Care Manager. My name is Ryan Abramski. I'm the Director of Business Development. And I'm joined, as always, with Teresa Jackson, our Director of Care Management. The both of us work for Easy Living. We're a home care and care management agency serving the Tampa Bay area for over 20 years. As always, the Ask a Care Manager video series is brought to you by our friends over the Senior Living Resource Magazine and their website, theseniorlivingguide.com. Your one-stop local and statewide resource for all things senior housing and health. Anything from home care services like Easy Living to assisted living facilities, memory care, senior health and wellness, and even care management services, again, like Easy Living, check out the Senior Living Resource Magazine and their website, seniorlivingguide.com. And if you reach out to them, they will mail you the issue directly to your home. So, Teresa, welcome. We have made it to February of 2021. Yay. And we know, and I'm not sure if our audience knows, but it is American Heart Month. And that is the reason the both of us are wearing red. Obviously, we want to wear red, too, to support our Tampa Bay Buccaneers <laughs> going to the Super Bowl this coming up weekend. But the main reason why we are wearing red is for American Heart Month. So we kind of wanted to introduce uh, American Heart Month by kicking it off by having a Ask a Care Manager video about that topic. And then throughout the month, we'll kind of be talking about some of the different programs, some tips, some you know wellness uh, tips as well to help people manage um, their conditions or diseases and live a better, healthier life along the way. So start off with Teresa. How can you know a care manager help um, someone manage a, a, a condition or a disease, um, you know, like congestive heart failure or, or heart disease of some component? Because we know that's one of the top diseases in the entire world and even the country that affects so many people, especially in our elderly population. Yes, Ryan, um, it is. And I'm so glad that we are focusing on uh, this particular issue because with, with COVID, unfortunately, a lot of people have not been going to their doctor's appointments. A lot of people have not been going to see their cardiologist to get their yep. checkups. They, you know, they, they have put this on hold because they're afraid to go out. They're afraid, you know, they're afraid of COVID. Um, and, and that's understandable, but it is still something that a care manager can help the client with. Um, you know, we can help set up a monitoring system. Mm -hmm. uh, are they checking their blood pressure? Um, you know, are, they, are there other diseases like diabetes that they need to make sure um, they, that they're managing correctly? Because, you know, just like I say, you know, there's no one issue that's, that's it's rare that there's an issue that's ever isolated and, and it's all by itself, you know we're issues are always connected to to each other you mm -hmm. know if someone's having issues driving then there's probably memory loss so if somebody has issues with diabetes and it's connected there's you have to take care of your heart as well so you know if somebody has a poor diet you know it our bodies are that's just the way that they work and to have a care manager come in and help oversee how the client is managing whatever diseases, you know, if they have heart disease, um, that's going to help the overall picture for that client and help improve their quality of life. So we would look at issues like obesity. Obesity is something that can lead to heart disease. So poor diet choices can lead to obesity. Uh, you know, is our, do we have a client that is still using tobacco? Are they still smoking? Um, you know, can we help encourage them to stop? Can we put in a, 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 a system that would help enable them? Can we get them to the right doctors and, and get that communication going to help the, to help the client understand? Because, you know, what I see a lot is, you know, I'm 80. I've been smoking all my life. Why stop now? Um, you know, there, there are reasons to go ahead and stop now you know, and, and that is something a care manager can help encourage and can be um, uh, encouraged also, like if we have home, if we have care partners in the home. So maybe it's a diet issue. Now I think about, I think about this client that I had several years ago 
Uh, and again, this was pre-COVID. So he would eat almost every day at McDonald's. And he would go in there in the morning and he would sit down and eat his breakfast and have some coffee and watch the, uh, read his newspaper. And then he would have lunch there. So he's having two meals a day at McDonald's because he never cooked for himself. Now mm -hmm. he's a widow. And, and I, see, I see a lot of men that are in this position where, you know, they never did really cook for themselves. It's that generation, you know, my yeah. husband cooks more than I do now, so <laughs> you know, he'll be fine. Um, but it's that generation where the women did the cooking and planned the meal. So now um, they've outlived their spouse. So they're eating alone, they're eating out, they're eating processed food, which is high in sodium. So all of this, you know, it's bad for your, your blood pressure, um, your cholesterol. And these are all factors that it's still manage. You can still manage them. You know, don't give up at 80 because you might be the lucky one that lives to be 95, you know, that, that lives to be a hundred. So you want to, you want your last years to be as healthy as possible. So yeah, you, know, you don't want a rough last 15, 20 years. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it, you know, excessive alcohol. Um, you know, there's a lot of factors that a care manager can help, you know, talk to the client about, talk to the family about maybe the families, you know, I'll let, just let, you know, mom, dad do what, whatever they want to do. They're 80 years old. It does what, what difference does it make at this point in time? Well, it does. And it can make a huge difference just like, you know, you know, just, exercising and it doesn't have to be you don't have to join the gym and go start exercising at 80 just incorporate a walk uh, into your daily routine and this is something again a care manager can help set up the appropriate program and then the home care the, the care partner going into the home can help facilitate it and make it happen on a daily basis if necessary absolutely and again it it all circles back to our reoccurring theme about being proactive instead of reactive. Um, I think, you know, whether you have some sort of heart disease or not, you still want to be proactive about it. If you don't have heart disease, you want to be proactive and take some of the steps that you mentioned there to, you know, get exercise, quit smoking, eat a better diet. But you also want to be proactive about it if you've been diagnosed with some sort of heart disease because you can help manage it better and not have so many complications that come along with it if you're being proactive about managing that that type of disease or condition. Correct. And we're training our care partners to be able to identify, you know, what some of the issues the client might have. Let's say if they have congestive heart failure, you know, are their legs swollen? You know, then the care partner can go in and encourage the client to put their feet up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, encourage the more healthy meals. Um, it, it is sad to think about how many people are at home alone. They're not getting any cognitive stimulation, social interaction. And then they're also on top of that, they have this very poor diet because, you know, they don't want to cook for one, you know, it's too much of a challenge. It's too much of a hassle. Um, so they're eating, you know, the processed foods they're eating out, they're making poor choices and they feel like, well, what difference does it make at this point in time? Well, let me tell you, it can really make a difference. And, you know, getting to your doctor's appointments, you know, that's something definitely that as a care manager, we're making sure, okay, you haven't seen your cardiologist in how many years? We mm -hmm. need to get back into that routine of seeing your cardiologist because if you have an issue, you don't want to have to find a new one. You don't want to have to start out as a new patient again. Absolutely. And I think that is, you know, the biggest factor with the care manager is that you guys can come up with the game plan and then our care partners can execute that game plan. So I think it's very important to have a plan, um, especially if you've been diagnosed with a disease or condition, because, you know, it helps you understand your disease and condition a little bit better and helps you manage it better when you know exactly what you're going to be doing and with the help of a care manager really stick to that plan and execute it. So it is less of a chance for complications. It, it, yes, and you don't have to wait until there's a crisis. Think about all the other types of coaches that are out there. You have business coaches, you have 
uh, health coaches, like, you know, when you join the gym, you, you get a, a physical health coach. Um, life coaches. <laughs> yeah, life coaches. I mean, yeah. you know, and this is just um, an opportunity to like, like I had another professional say, I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel if there's an organization like yours that, that is already doing this. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much, Teresa, for your insight. And um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be putting different things out throughout the month. So stay tuned to um, not only our Ask a Care Manager videos every week, but also check out our Facebook page and our website uh, because we will be putting different tips and tricks and information and resources out there um, in, in, in uh, lieu of the uh, American Heart Month. So uh, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section below. You can send us a message directly on Facebook, or and like I mentioned, you can visit our website and then fill out the contact us form. And that'll go directly to one of us here in the office and be happy to reach out to you and answer any questions or any concerns that you have. So Yes, Lisa, thank and you. Do, well, yeah. yeah, and tell uh, tell everybody to like us on Facebook. Isn't that still a thing? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> like our page, follow our page, so you guys can keep up to speed on all the different things that we're going to be rolling out this week. And then, obviously, if you like something or you know you know someone that could use our information, share the information with them. Um, that's Please. the best way to to get the information out there is to share it. We have Facebook for a reason, and we have YouTube on there, and we uh, we also. Um, have launched our Instagram page. So if any of you guys have Instagram out there, check out our Instagram page. Uh, we're putting different, uh, again, more information on that page too. Um, again, themed with the American Heart Month for the month of February. So check that out, share it, like it, and uh, get the word out there for us. So as always, uh, Teresa, thank you again. Uh, we thank all of you for joining and we'll see everyone next week. Go Bucks. <laughs>